They say that you learn something new every day, and I believe that's true, even though, you know, I'm often considered to be uh, an expert in Adobe Captivate. I don't know everything, and I discovered something new all the time. So inspired by this particular page here where we have these image cards, for lack of a better word, a client of mine was looking for a card design where the image would go right up to the edge of the card yet we'd still have some space around it for the words, the text, whatever it might be. And at first I started fooling around with the design options in Adobe Captivate. So let's start with, of course, a, an image grid, which is a good starting point for something like this. And I was thinking that I'd build myself a custom design option which is no easy task. There is a tutorial up on Training Magazine's website. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. But the reality is, is that it's not an easy task and it would take a while to do. So I kind of gave up on that and I started to explore the options that are available to me. And one thing I'd either forgotten about, or maybe I didn't know it at all in the first place, is that you have alignment and spacing controls, not only for this block itself, but for cards as well. And I'm gonna show you that today. So in this example here, we've got three images, we've got some text. We're going to go ahead and we're gonna add the card component to this block. And I think what I'll do is I'll have it auto fit the height there. So clearly the background is a different color. The cards are a nice bright white. That works well, but how do we get the image to go right to the edge here? And that actually shows up with the cards layout here. And if I select the basic image grid default design option, I seem to have the most flexibility with this. So I can start by reducing these cards alignment and spacing section down to zero and that brings the image right to the edge and you may have to do it on your other views as well and there we go for tablet view and the same thing for smartphone view one thing i think i would want to do is not have a rounded corner on these cards i want something nice and crisp. The only remaining element, we'll just go back to desktop here, is the text. Now the text is right up to the edge. The image is, that's what I wanted, but the text is right up to the edge as well. And of course you can select the text components one by one. We can also go into alignment and spacing. And you don't necessarily need to have anything at the top or bottom, but we can add, let's say, a little spacing to each of these within the text components themselves here. So now we've got a little extra space there. You know what, I'm gonna put it on the bottom as well. And I don't think I need it for the first one, but this gives me a little space there. And of course, for the remaining cards, I can right click it and copy appearance. And then we can right click and apply appearance to the remaining, in this case, subtitles here. And same thing for this one here, copy appearance and apply appearance and apply appearance. And now we have something very close to what we had in that original website design. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.